All right, guys. Oops, I'm way zoomed in. Okay, the next pattern is called La Flor. Um, looks like uh, ew, I don't know who that is. Is it Ellen? And uh, Mimi has already done this one. Um, so check out their videos. Um, and the challenge for today um, was to overlap the flowers. So um, we're going to try that and see what happens. So the pattern itself is fairly simple. You do a circle to start. And then you can do this around the circle. I think I'm going to leave my center plain. I don't think I'm going to do this pattern around the center. Just my own personal uh, preference. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, like arms sticking out. And then from those arms we're going to make them into um, almost like a baseball bat shape petal. So I think I'm not going to do just the arm. I think I'll do the whole petal piece all as one thing. And then coming out from each of those, we're just going to do feathering toward the middle. I think what I'll do is I'll go on each side one by one so that I don't end up going too far one way or the other and making the petals funky. I'll meet in the middle here. So I'll go one, 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 one. Does that make sense? And that's it. That's your flowery shape. Here's a, a variety of different ones. See how the they've done different things in the middle. I think I may leave my middle not done. I'm not sure what I want to do with my middles yet. But um, I do like the little border thing here. Kind of separates it from the petal. So I will probably do that. But I don't think I'm going to do the middle middle yet. Look at that one. Look how pretty the middle is of that one. And the middles can be different sizes too. But the, the challenge for this one is to really challenge ourselves is to overlap these petals. So we're going to try that as well. Got myself a red paper. I don't usually draw on red, but I don't know. I was feeling red. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, I'm hoping it's dark enough. I'm thinking just as as a as placement I'm I want a border but I'm not sure if I want a full border or just like a corner border which I may just do a corner border kind of like that sometimes and then I'm going to place three of these flowers and I think I want one kind of tucked into the corner so you'll only see part of it and one here and one kind of here and I think this one and this one will be in front of that one I think that's how I'm going to do it so I think I'll draw this one first actually see how it goes and then I'll try the trickier ones where like it's in a corner and behind. So I'm going to draw that one first. That's where I'm going to start and I need to find my pen. Why I lose my pen? It's just sitting right here and I, I still can't find it. I don't understand. Okay. Let's draw ourselves a middle and then I'm going to go ahead and draw A little thing around the center like that. You're kind of far away. Let me get a little closer. And then we want five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna just do like that to, to start my my petal things and I want them about that long. I'm just going to come and do a whole long baseball bat like shape. Instead of drawing the this all the way out, I just 
used it as sort of like a indicator of where I wanted to start that shape. Okay. These two are a little closer together than those. That one's a little shorter than the others. That's okay. So then I'm going to go like this. And like this. Until I come to the middle. Like that. And we're just doing that feathering. Pretty simple. Like that. Pretty simple. Okay, and then I want this one, I think. And I'm gonna make it bigger. For my center. I do think I wanna want just a, a partial border. So I think I'm gonna do it with a brush. I go See how I did, uh, you probably didn't see most of that because it was probably out of frame, but I just did a little. Let me zoom out just a smidge so you can see my border. I just went straight and then I went boop, 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 made it smaller as I went. Same here. Do, 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 do. And then I think instead of those circles maybe i'll do something different around the middle here like that. Do that in the middle. Why? Why not? And then in here I want to... I do want a middle in this. I'm just going to do dots. I'm going to fill it in. This one I might do Something like that. Okay, so five. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five. They're going to come that way.
Okay, there's my five petals. And then we're going to come this way. This way, and then this one would go this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, and this way. And maybe you'd see that one coming down as it goes that way. and then one here and in order for it to overlap it needs to kind of be tucked down in but I am going to have it longer petals also I think this one's going to have a circular center and maybe a little spiky bits And then maybe something like that for the center. Something different. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five for the arms. And these arms are going to go way out here. And we'll do the ones that don't overlap first because they're the easier ones. One more. Like that. And there we go. Now they're overlapping. I think I want some kind of greenery or florally something. Maybe maybe some swirly bits.
something to just kind of fill those spaces. I don't really need much of anything, but just a little something to fill the space. I like that. And then let's give them a little bit of shading where the overlap. And in the middle of each flower, I think they kind of need some shading. If I was doing this on white paper, I'd probably, or do every little petal maybe. But I don't think it really needs it. I think I'm just going to do some highlights more. But for sure where it overlaps you need to see that by making sure it's got some shadows. And then the same here where it overlaps the frame. A little bit of shadows. And once again I'm going to much with my big blender. And then you know it's going to have highlights, right? Gotta have highlights when you the dark paper. Okay, so that's like that. And then we're just gonna come in with some highlights. That's got a little smudge some more. Okay. All right, so here we come. Uh, I need to sharpen my pencil. Ugh, my back hurts. I did a lot of work yesterday and I'm very sore. was that notification? I got a notification about something. Oh. Little messenger message. Yep. I can Almost done here, and then I can answer that text. Like it.
<laughs> I love it. I'm do a little bit more in here. Very good. Very good. I love how that turned out. It was fairly simple, easy to do. Didn't take me an hour. I'm happy with that. I am ready for, uh, yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to be done for today. Well, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Uh, I believe next week I have planned ghost wrap, uh, something that starts with an O. I can't read my own handwriting on, on the Lena or something and Mis mysterious heart. So that will bring us through to the end of the month. Oh my gosh. May will be over by the time I'm done drawing all my videos for this month. I can't believe that. Wow. Wasn't it just Christmas? I mean, we've missed all of spring. So, you know, we've, we've done nothing all spring, but sit at home or those of us who are going to work, who have done nothing but go straight to work and home. I've been nowhere else. It is starting to wear on me and I'm a very big introvert and I love being home, but I think I'd like to see parts of the rest of the world. I don't have to get out of my car. Maybe I should just go for a drive. It would be nice if it stopped raining. If it stopped raining, I could go for a nice drive and maybe find a nice secluded park or someplace where I could get out of the car and walk around a bit. Anyway, I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to put up my feet. I'm going to answer this text that came in and I will see you guys on the next video. You have a really great day. Bye-bye.